Oracle OS Management Hub is used to manage and monitor updates and patches for Oracle Linux environments in private data centers, third-party cloud, and compute instances in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's web console as a centralized management hub. In this video, we will register OS environments that are hosted outside of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, like in private data centers and in third-party cloud. We will cover each step in two parts. First, collecting the needed information from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console. Second, using that information in a logged in session with the environment we intend to register. We will need to collect information for the registration profile, download the management agent software, copy the management agent install key, and collect the host name and proxy ports for the associated management station. All of this is available on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Second, we will use that information and software to register the environment as a managed instance. To complete this registration, we will install the management agent software that we downloaded, set up and start the management agent, and then we will verify the registration and schedule an update job. All of this will be completed by logging into the environment with sudo privileges. Let's get started. In the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, let's get a registration profile. On the main menu, Observability and Management, and under OS Management Hub, click Profiles. Select the profile that you wish to give to the managed instance. From the Profile Details page, click View. We will use this profile information to create a registration profile on the instance. Click Copy. In the logged in session to the instance, let's create a registration profile file. The profile file defines the software sources, group, and lifecycle association for instances at the time of registration. Use this command to create the file. Paste the registration profile content into that file. Save and exit. Next, we need to download and install the management agent software. We can get the management agent software from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Navigate to Observability and Management. Then under the Management Agent section, click Downloads and Keys. Download the Linux RPM and transfer the file to your instance. Then, let's copy the management agent install key. We will need to paste the management agent install key information into a response file on our instance. Under the Install Keys table, scroll over to the Action menu on the far right side of the Install Key you wish to use. Choose Copy Key to Clipboard. Back on the logged in session to the instance, let's create the response file. Create the file using this command. On the first line, paste your install key that we just copied. Then add this line to enable the OS Management Hub plugin. For the next two lines, we need information about the management station that will manage this system. So let's return to the OCI web console to collect the host name and proxy port from the management station details page. Return to the registration profile details page for the profile that we are using. Under profile information is a link to the management station associated with this profile. This guarantees that we use the correct management station details. Click the name of the management station. On the details page, click configuration, and then take note of the host name and listening port. Return to the logged in session and use that information in the next two lines. Our next step is to install the management agent software. Prior to installing the management agent, we need to install dependencies. Use the following command to install Java JDK 1.8. Install the JDK before installing the management agent software. Next, navigate to the folder on the instance that you moved and stored the management agent RPM to. Run the following command to install the software. Our next step is to configure the management agent plugin as a root user. The plugin requires root privileges to apply updates and patches to the registered instance. Run this command. Let's set the permissions of the file using the following command. We are now ready to run the management agent setup script. Run the following command. This will configure the management agent based on the input response file and start the agent. The output will display successful statuses for initiating the agent software and deploying the service plugin. 
Next is to verify the registration of this system as a managed instance in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console. On the Web Console, navigate to the Instance page under the OS Management Hub section of Observability and Management. Look for the instance on the list that we just registered. Click on it to review for the expected operating system version and architecture. As a final step, let's schedule an update job for this now managed instance. Click Create Update Job, enter a name and optionally a description. Select the types of updates that this scheduled update job will apply to the instance. Select a date for the update job, and let's set the frequency to once a week. Click Create when done. Now we have successfully registered a system as a managed instance and scheduled updates with Oracle OS Management Hub. For more information on registering instances with OS Management Hub or troubleshooting the registration process, visit Oracle Documentation.